All right, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Riley Hulbert with Tricky Jim. Going to be playing a game on PTCGO today, and this is Riley's list, so I'll let you kind of lead us off, Riley. What are we working with today? So today we're working with Professor Metagross. Uh, is... I believe the name is Sweaty Gross. Sweaty... I don't think he sweats at all. I don't Shwe... think he has sweat glands. I think that, no. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, we decided uh, he's actually rock hard just all, all the, time. the time. He's all just a very, time. very uh, rigid Pokemon. Very, probably with absolutely. no sweat whatsoever. No, no. He uh, maybe sweat. he has like a nice sheen. Maybe his sheen is sweaty. Maybe a polish. Yeah. Maybe he has a nice polish. Maybe that's his sweat. <laughs> and it has the name Sweaty Gross, which Natalie Champagne came up with. She wants the credit for that one. So we will be calling Metagross Sweaty Gross. And we're playing Sweaty Gross today. So what made you want to make a Metagross deck in the current standard meta Riley? Um, well, I think as Zork is phasing out of the meta game, we're getting in this awkward point though where things are one shotting each other. There's a lot of Malamar, a lot of psychic types. Buzzwool is still in the format, 190 HP, uh, weak to psychic. And Metagross actually is decent, in theory at least, against both of these decks. Um, Metagross has a ton of HP. 250 is basically impossible for most decks to knock out right now in one hit, besides maybe a dangerous Rogue GX. Um, so Metagross is, gets that tanking factor, which is really cool. And with uh, Delmize, Metagross can hit a clean 190 damage. So that knocks out Buzzwall, it knocks out Malamar, Ultra, Mal or Ultra Necrozma. Uh, so it's a really cool deck. It's really fun to play. Um, and sometimes you're... Fun, you say. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to draw like this, I guess. <laughs> Riley comes over and he's like, yeah, I've lost like one out of 20 games with Shreddy Gross. And I'm like, oh, yeah? And he's like, you know, the one game I just didn't draw right. And then here we are. Uh, this is what my stage two hands have been looking like in the face of Buzzwall, who just like comes screaming in. Uh, turn one. All right, we're just going to leave that guy there. Well, the cool thing is Buzzle actually picture. can't scream through a Mimikyu turn one, at least uh, mostly. Actually, Mimikyu isn't resistant. Never mind. Not resistant, But yeah. Mimikyu is still really cool. It can uh, copy Jet Punch, copy Knuckle, Knuckle Impact. Oh, for sure. Um, does a lot of damage. We also play two Psychic Energy, so you can copy... Uh, oh, oh <laughs> yeah! Oh, now we're in a great turn two situation. I think that... You can either just Sycamore that or just Cynthia. I would not attach even. I'm going to Sycamore... You don't attach energy. Yeah, you to the could Vulpix. attach the psychic. I think you attach to the Vulpix so that you could retreat it later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Because we plan on beaconing this turn. I imagine. Oh my, <laughs> Riley, what have you gotten us into? <laughs> this is like not normal. Man. <laughs> Think about it. You're playing four Ultra Ball. You're playing multiple Lele, multiple Bridget. How often are you not seeing like any basics at this point? Uh, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of games with Decidueye lately, trying to make Decidueye work, and I've been getting like. Very similar results to this. <laughs> this is like, this is my, I was I was trying to prep for Madison, and I was like, man, yeah, I really want to play, which we're probably at Madison right now by the time this right. video is up. So if you want to check out how we're doing, go ahead and check us out on Twitter at EnjoyFriend, friend and Smiles with Riles. But anyways, yes, uh, in prep for Madison, I was like, yeah, stage two Pokemon, pure <laughs> fire. They are, you know, it's their time. And then it I, is. And then I, like, roll them up, and this is what I get. <laughs> Oh, it's like, fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as he doesn't have a strong energy right now, we can just bridge it and beacon again. What do you think about? Uh, he, he oh, have we're it. totally <laughs> fine. We're totally fine. What do you think about like Gardevoir as a stage two deck right Gardevoir now? Gardevoir is the one that I don't like. Actually, why don't you like Gardevoir? Because I um, was like up all night last night, just like thinking about Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know if you just stay no, up. This is me. This is me on the into car the right night. here too. <laughs> I was up to like two a ham just like thinking about and I would like lean over in my phone and I'd like have an idea and I'd be like, what's Pidgeot EX doing? <laughs> Uh, and then I like, Google it, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's not quite as good as I no, thought. No, 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 it's not very good. <laughs> not very good. So I think we Ultra Ball away, Guzma, Field Blower, get that, Bridget. That was, that was my, uh, that was, I was feeling that, too. Yeah, and then we're just going to Alele for a Brigitte, and yes, yes, yes. then we're going to get three of the gentlemen. Yes. Yes. So two turns late. The but... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Lele for Bridget is like, I've been whiffing Lele for Bridget so often in my stage two decks that I'm starting to feel like Nest Ball might just be better. Uh, have I you had that feeling yet? Some I have had that feeling <laughs> with some decks. I Not all of them, though. Uh -huh. I like Nest Ball and stuff like Greninja GX. Right. I don't really like it as much in Metagross because it's like imperative that you get multiple Metagross out simultaneously. You know right. What I'm saying? 
So like that, oh my gosh, they, they just played both of their ends. Stay <laughs> playing their ends. They're just like, yeah, you will not have a vegan. That's fine. We're going to get actually... rare candy, sweaty, gross. No, we're not. Oh, this is like a good <laughs> This hand is up. a fine hand. <laughs> uh, you know, we just put the fourth rare candy in here. We're back and forth between three rare candy, four max potion, four, uh, three max potion, four rare candy. So trying it out with four rare candy. Oh, no, don't bring up a build them. Leave them be. <laughs> This oh, not fine. a double knockout. <laughs> this is still fine. This is fine. Uh, what do you think? We promote the Mimikyu this turn? Yeah, just promote the Mimikyu yeah. and evolve both your uh, Tangs up. Right. Just probably Filch this turn. You attach a metal to it and Filch. Oh, yeah. We get to draw two big ones. <laughs> All right. And we're slapping the choice band on a Matang guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No reason so, not to, really. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll give this guy the old field blower treatment. I have thought about putting a Mr. Mime in this deck. And oh, I think yeah. that would actually push the matchup, like, a lot. Uh, make sure you evolve your Matang before you play your Sycamore. <laughs> oh, it was... <laughs> I was like... I went to drag that one over. It was yeah, not I giving know. me the I green border. <laughs> no, it was not giving me the green border. Yeah. I was like, did I mess something up, Riley? I'm pretty sure that I had both of those gentlemen down <laughs> know, last turn. I know what your thought process was. <laughs> was you like... almost played that Sycamore. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. is great, This though. is great. There's nothing wrong with this at all. We're just going to give it the good old filch. Yeah, there yilch. we go. I'm going to... Yum, yum. Oh, oh busted. great. This is exactly what we need to get a knockout next turn. If he doesn't, you know, I mean, I guess he can't take out all three of these. No. So we're fine. At best, he takes out one. Right. So at best, he probably gets the belt. I mean, what is he doing? He's at, Oh, Fury Belts. Didn't Ooh. see that. This, uh... This complicates things. I it think does, we, are we got rid of both of our... Both of our <laughs> field blowers. So... Uh, That's unusual. That is unusual. <laughs> I think we're still... We can, like, play the two-hit KO game way better than they can. Dangerous Rogue is, like, not on the table for the rest of this game. Why is that? I mean, are you really going to put down... No, nothing <laughs> else. No, if it's not named Veldum... Uh, or sweaty gross, he's not going down. And this like, Delmine seems worthless because that kid right now it is. doesn't do anything. Right? Yeah, exactly. There's no reason to put it down so. unless the option. And then I think stuff. eventually we're going to bring this Mimikyu back into the deck with a. You play a rescue strip. Oh. We play two. Okay, yes. So we're going to throw that Mimikyu back into the field deck blower. This and is potentially, a weird field. potentially copycat right later in the game for a one Absolutely. hit knockout. Absolutely. So I don't feel too bad about that. But. You know, in preparation for Madison, does playing a stage two deck make you a little nervous? I know we were both big fans of stage two decks <laughs> approximately six months ago. <laughs> yes, six months ago seemed really good. Then we saw the light of stage one decks. We were yeah, like, wow, Zorark good. and uh, Buzzrock. Wow, these <laughs> decks are much more consistent than our Decidueye friend. I, I still love Decidueye. I heart. also love Decidueye, which is why I like Greninja GX, because it kind of feels a little bit like Decidueye. A little bit. A little, not quite the same. There's nothing like just having the board set up, just set up. You know, you're just like, I know I'm getting 60 snipe this turn, and you know, and an attack, which is just unreal. But it just takes. I mean, setting up Decidueye to me feels like it takes about this long now. Like to, I am missing Decidueyes until like turn three or four, which is just uh, not acceptable. We could just promote him a tank, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yep, we going for it. We so out here. Definitely take that rare candy while you have the chance. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go rare candy on the benched one, and then ultra ball probably rare candy yep. and the tang away. And we're not gonna get rid of the. Delmise. I would keep the Delmise for like a later buzz. In case, we'll yeah. I don't know how many fury belts he plays. His his right. list is like a lot different than just strange. So yeah, yeah. We don't really know what's going on here. Sure, we're gonna do the active, and then we're gonna do. I feel like there's no way he plays more than one. I would doubt it, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going in on just both these guys here. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're just going to end. The cool thing is the Dalmise also knocks out a Buzzful in one hit with a Psychic Energy. All righty then. Okay, so we're not going to attack. That's fine. We're going to Algorithm. There's no way that he's got another <laughs> N. I think that this is going to I mean, third N, mind blown. Big no, brain. No, There's no way. It. He doesn't have it. We don't need to max potion any of these things. We're going to save those max potions since we're only playing three right now. So let's geotech and throw a metal onto my active. And then do we... Where you we use the second one for sure. Onto the active? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It can only go to the active with geotech systems. Oh, right, right, right. Duh. Shows how many times <laughs> I played Sweaty Gross. Uh, zero. All right, here we go with the algorithm GX. And wow, five cards. You get to pick five things. I think we want probably a third gentleman, right? Show play, Matt. Yeah, I would get maybe a Metagross. Yeah, Probably a Rescue Stretcher fine. seems good. Yeah. 
Yeah, that seems good too. Uh, an energy. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want an energy. And then a Guzma. Would, is the psychic in your discard yet? Yes. Okay, it is. So yep. um, a Guzma. A Guzma seems fine as an option. I'll get parallel and parallel. Yeah, that seems great. That seems like a great five cards. Yeah. yeah. Really good, because now we have the option to go grab that Mimikyu and exactly. just go light something up. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So that's really good. The Psychic is in the discard pile. Yep, so there it is. We're well, good like, to go. pretty much guaranteed to get Mimikyu off next turn, so if they Knuckle Impact, they're just donezo. Right. So, I mean, they don't have really an option to knock out a 250 hit point Metagross. They do have the option to go down to one prize if they knock out the Lele. And if they do that, we just have to stick with Metagross and not use Mimikyu. Oh, right. Exactly. Which so, is still fine. It is fine. We do have three max potions available. We do need to take all six prizes, like, boom, 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 though. Which uh, <laughs> is not looking great with that guy on board. The Fury Belt's concerning. <laughs> that could be that could potentially be our last prize that we take. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, so he's just going for a jet punch. Oh, this is fine. Oh, that's, like, really good for us. That's excellent. for. That's pretty much best case scenario. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, let's get a young Mimikyu back. I feel like you think we just go in with the Mimikyu? I mean, or no, we can't. We can't uh, kill him this turn. So I, I feel would... like we just go Delmize, knock out this guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's bench the Del. I mean that. Right. Yeah. So bench the Delmize, and then if you do, I double that... max potion as well. Yeah. Okay, that feels like it hurts a little bit, but I think we just got to. Yeah. And then. And then parallel off your Lele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we limit. Okay, that that makes sense. Yeah. So we're gonna double max potion there, and then also here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so let's just go. We got Guzma. We're gonna bring up that gentleman there. And there goes our sweaty gross with the <laughs> other one with the choice band. And then sure, we can accelerate all three to the active. Should I put an energy on a bench somewhere? Uh yeah, you can put an energy on the bench this turn. That okay, seems fine. We'll just put it there. And then let's parallel Make sure you yep. Blue side to us. Get rid of the Lele. Now Dangerous Rogue just seems a lot worse. Seems a <laughs> lot worse for sure. And then let's just go Geotech. Throw some boys up onto our Sweaty Gross and actually finally take a knockout. So this is the dream setup here. Like, we're finally up and rolling. We had to sacrifice quite a bit to get here, though. We did. and that, But that was an abnormally slow game, I would say. At least out of the sample size that I have, that right. was an abnormally slow game. How many... How many games do you think that you've played with this deck so far? I'd say between 15 and 20. Okay, so not bad. And originally you were just kind of like throwing a whole bunch of different ideas together. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually this one you were like, hmm, it seems to be winning though. So Yeah, okay. to, like Metagross seemed like kind of a meme to me when I first was like drafting ideas up. And then it ended up like working, right. much to my surprise. So. Right. Right, just imagine like, if we had the hot Decidueye in here. <laughs> I know, like a Decidueye in here, or like some sort of damage modifier oh, yeah. would be really good. Yeah, I mean, right imagine now. then this possible. I mean, he'd be he'd be donezo in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like that was an idea I was trying out. Was I feel Decidueye. like the Delmize comes out if you have the Decidueye in, right? No, because then you can hit two hundred ten. Ah, uh, okay. Which I is see. like pretty funny. That is pretty funny. <laughs> So, yes, Riley does have a super spice version of Sweaty Gross. Uh, I think he calls it Sweaty Spice. And <laughs> That's not what I've ever <laughs> pretty, said that. Pretty sure you in our group chat called it Sweaty Spice. I don't and recall. So, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Sweaty Spice plays a 101, uh, yeah, Decidueye line. And what you said, Matt Price is playing it in an ARG tournament right now in 3 0, right? Yeah, yeah. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, oh, oh no. I, he doesn't get a knockout. He doesn't get here. a knockout. We're fine. That's that's totally good. That actually put all the damage on one. That's great. Now, how do you go about get? You just attack with the damaged ones. That's so. What what's you in your discard right now? You have used two max. You have, have one more max potion. Right. I know you have the last mm. max potion in your max deck. Max potion is in our deck. Yeah. Um, you cannot stick more really it. right now. No, you got six cards left in deck. You so can we... rescue Shudder then stick more. That's putting you on a clock. I think you have one Guzma left. Yeah. I think. Um, I don't know if it's really worth it to take the knockout with. I think that we can't. A lele for I don't, actually yeah, max no. potion knockout would be pretty good here. It would be pretty good because then it gives us an opportunity to Guzma for something. Chill yeah, yeah, yeah. So take. I actually think that's okay. So we could bring three Pokemon back into the deck. Then we're on like a two card. How many ends do we play? Um, oh, ugh! I think we just Cynthia. We could Cynthia. I'm fine with Cynthia. Do an energy here. That's fine. Yeah. All right, and then you do have enough in your discard, right? E well, yeah, yes, you do. Okay, just, right. Enough. just enough. <laughs> 
And then I think we put the choice band on the active. I would hold the choice band because then you could co use Delmize or something. Okay. Use Delmize, what do you mean? Oh, you can anchor shot. Yeah. Oh, we can anchor shot. Busted. All right. <laughs> so, oh, uh, can't we just retreat? Um, we could put all three up and retreat if we need to. Yeah, put all three up there, retreat, and then and then uh, Cynthia. Okay, so I would Cynthia first, though. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 definitely yeah. Cynthia first. Always, yeah. So let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, we're that's like the best hand we could have asked for. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got N. We've got Max Potion. Hit him with the Max Potion. Great. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and then yes, we don't need the choice band, so we've got our non bando metagross in the active position that's great because then we can save that one for delmize everybody's favorite ghost anchor <laughs> so you said he's not actually an anchor he just inhabits an anchor yeah right? so if you click on delmize all right let's take a gander delmize is actually like that that algae on the slash seaweed on the anchor oh yeah i had no idea the anchor is like just the vessel oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Giga like hammer. the the pokedex entry is something like delmize is a uh is like the spirit of dead seaweed, like floating oh my through the. Gosh, you know how like what? sometimes dead seaweed will brush against you. Like, that's, that's insane. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Definitely dig that. I feel like I'm in a pretty commanding position right now. I agree. Like I feel pretty good. Honestly, it's a little bit. Can the Delmize can't knock out this Buzzwell though? No. So what I would do next turn is he's if he claw slashes, probably he's as, knocking out this Delmize. If he yeah. doesn't dangerous rogue you, then we're good. We want him to claw slash. Uh, why, why is that better? Because then we can put Mimikyu back on our bench. Uh huh. Um, retreat one of our Metagrosses to oh, get energy back. Oh yeah. Guzma that and kill Dangerous Rogue. Or actually, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're good. No, we don't Dangerous Rogue. We can only copy Claw Slash. Oh, oh, okay. But I think he's gonna use Claw Slash. Right. He would definitely use Claw Slash here and sl save his GX if he can. I uh, I don't see why not. You're definitely knocking out the Delmise. So why are we gonna copy? Oh, but Mimikyu, Psychic Weakness, we knocked that thing out. Yeah. Oh, that'd be insane. There's no way he sees this coming. <laughs> and then also, it allows us to just play the seven prize game for sure, which is very, very good for us. Puts it us might, down to one prize. It might be better to go for the two-hit KO here. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, is that our last Guzma? It, it is. is our last Guzma. Woo! So then, I mean, then he's bringing up the... Yeah, that actually puts us in a little bit of a tough spot. Do we... All right, so we got Claw Slashed. We could Guzma knock that thing out. We can just, like, what's in his hit into pile? this thing. Yeah, that's my that's my question, is whether we hit into... What's in his discard pile okay. right now? Yeah. Uh, how many, like, Guzmas and stuff? Uh, we're looking at one Guzma. Ooh, it's got Guzmas. That's All right. scary. We got to promote... We're going to promote that boy right there. Okay. So we've got... And my opponent's got a ton of Guzmas um we've got a couple energy in deck basically what gives us our best chance of winning i mean we could go down guzma down to one prize um with the mimikyu and take out a one prizer and then if they guzma around into a metagross then we retreat and end and then keep mimikyu and plug away again um, let's rescue stretcher either way uh pokemon from our discard pile into our hand so we're gonna go get the Mimikyu for sure. Does the Delmice actually do better? Does Anchor Shot do anything better? Um, it keeps it active potentially. It if anyone can't retreat, uh, so but he's got three Guzmas. So I think like Copycat's probably better. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna get that. It's so, like, what are you gonna what are you gonna Copycat onto this turn? I think we knock out the Octillery. Okay. Potentially, so... that like feels okay. So make so your ordering is important. How, what do you have your double psychic and discard your other one? Oh, we need two psychic in the discard. Or no, we need one. So oh, okay. what you're gonna okay? So that's fine. So yeah, put I, Mim Mimikyu down. Right, and we got a Guzma. Yeah, Guzma him one active, yeah, uh -huh. and then retreat with him. Do you think the Octillery seems fine? That seems fine. I feel like he's going up with GXs for the rest of the game, so that gives us. That seems fine. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, and then like potentially. And then we can play the two hit KO game and N. Right. Yeah, I like that fine. It's like a tough spot. I just think that this is like what we got going on here. And then, you know, if they knock out the Mimikyu, then we end to one. They don't have an Octillery, and we just hope that we win the trade. You yeah, know, yeah. By just like jockeying around. Like the opponent, like honestly, Make he's, sure you put the psychic for he's got attacks. a pretty like decent chance of pulling out of this because he's got so many Guzmas. But we're at least going to like make him work for it. Right. So, yeah. And I think we just, we just hold sit like here. That, yeah. Hold this. This all There's feels no good. The choice use... band we could throw. I wouldn't use anything else even. But, I would yeah. just uh, 
Copycat. I'm going to copycat, knock that thing out, go down to two prizes ourselves. Now, I think we're actually even in a better spot here. The Rainbow Rare! <laughs> uh, I think we're actually in a better... And look how derpy this art looks. Oh, that's not derpy. He is He's very, cool. like, a metal spider. <laughs> He's cool. I don't know. I, I think, think this one is cool. much better. I do like... I, like, really like this artwork, actually. But I feel like if our opponent Guzmas, that actually leaves us in, like, a fine position because then we just, like, retreat and... And then, uh, right. and then just keep plugging away with Mimikyu. I don't think. Well, Buzzle, they can't actually knock us out, right? That thing's got a Fury Belt on it. No, Buzzle can't knock out a Metagross. Right. Without it takes two strongs a choice band. And a I think we're probably getting the second Octillery here, but we had to hope. I don't know. We had to. We I mean, we had to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's, it still depends a little bit here. Could have knocked out the. Actually, we would could not have knocked out the Diane. No, so, not, yeah, not with not with, not with the Mimikyu, Yeah, so that was uh, I think that taking the one prizer though was the play. I think that's fine, I and mean, it does at least get our odd prize out of the way. And what we know we know is that uh, our opponent is like going to be promoting GXs for the rest of the game. So we do know that we could have taken out the Buzzwall. Then they promote Lycanroc. Then they you know then they hit into Mimikyu, knock out Mimikyu. Then we do get the first hit on Lycanroc. You know, right? Buzzwell might have been better just because then he only has one attacker left. I agree. I think actually probably the Buzzwell was the play. I think we just outthought ourselves a little bit. It's like, but no, we couldn't have knocked him out. Yeah, we could oh, have, we have choice band. band. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Have knocked him out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Buzzwell actually might have been better. Yeah, I think we big brained ourselves here. We did a little bit. <laughs> it's that if he didn't have artillery though, this could be like a fine position. But he could like retreat between attackers a couple times. Right, which actually, I mean, but so can we. But it gives him more more time to hit the game winning Guzma. Yeah, he but he can hit Guzma for game when we can't. We can't. Right. So a little bit of a tough spot here. We are going to be ending to one, but it doesn't matter. My opponent's got. Oh, see, they are blowing a Guzma here. That's good. Um, but now all they need to do is just hit Guzma for game. So they would have been in this situation either way because... Can we... We actually can't retreat this Metagross. Oh, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> we have too much energy committed to oh, the board. We, we brained ourselves. I think. I think we, we did. seven. We do. We don't have three in the discard pile, right? We have one in the discard pile right now. I oh, think we what? have two energy in our deck. Oh, we do have two energy in our deck, So, but we'd have no way to discard them. We, oh, does he get the knockout? No, there's no way. We definitely big-brained ourselves here. But it's fine. This is a huge brain deck. Oh, Jet Punch. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we do lose, I think, after that. We do. Oh, Jet Punch for 110. Bad. Ow. Oh, we do have a... We have an Ultra Ball deck. But we have N. There's no way we can hit the three-card combo we need. I don't think we, we can need. hit everything we need. Uh -huh. We have Sycamore. Yeah, and an Energy. Yeah, we have two Ultra Balls, two Energy. We can't do it, guys. We tried real hard. Technically, if we could win this turn, we would be able to... Like, if we were able to attack that for game, we uh -huh. would be able to do it because we could Sycamore, draw Ultra Ball, two, men, two energy. Right. But we're just... We, like, can't... We can Jet Punch for one yeah. twenty. So I think, like, we just were a little bit shy there. I think there was a couple things that went wrong. We just set up, like, super slow and... <clears throat> And uh, had to get rid of both of our field blowers. And then our opponent happens to also play and we Petty also Cradle. got rid of two of our Guzmas really quickly. And we did get rid of two of our Guzmas very quickly. So opponent's got it. Uh, they're just going to be able to knuckle impact for game here. So we're just going to pass to my opponent. But anyways, Riley, thank you for showing us. <laughs> cool list. And it definitely tends to perform better than this, uh, usually. But, right. It's um, fine. It's fine. Yeah. You can, and if you like, if this matchup is like really concerning, which I actually think it's a fine matchup. It's, mm -hmm. Like we saw how close this was, despite right. like basically Horrible a turn setup. two Bridget or like turn three Bridget or something like that. Um, and even despite that, we brought it really close. But if you put something like a Mister Mime in there, right? Like now the Jet Punch turns are basically wasted. Almost right. like obviously a knockouts on one Pokemon's fine, but not spreading is huge. Exactly. So like. I would consider adding a Mr. Mime. Oh, the fourth fourth max potion is also really good. Super good against Buzzwool for sure. Um, but I, I enjoy this deck a lot. I think it's really fun. It is fun to play, for sure. Definitely cool. Two hundred fifty hit points is a lot for these decks to take out. So if you do get set up in a timely manner, you can start swinging away. And then Mimikyu, awesome psychic weakness. You know, hitting for psychic weakness, so good. The Vulpix, obviously great as well. Decks are not playing. 
three or four N or as often two, as they yeah. used to. So the Vulpix hands are sticking more than they used to as well. But anyways, shout out to Riley again for showing us the sweet list. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, check us out on Twitter at EnjoyFriend, and Smiles with Riles. Peace.